Okay, so for this one, we're going to be talking about how to convert between improper fractions and mixed numbers. First, we're going to go from improper fractions to mixed, then we'll go from mixed to improper. So for this first one, number one, let's look at it. Hmm. Let's start with, okay, we have 17 over 4, or 17 divided by 4, or, said another way, 17 fourths. Now, we know this is more than 1. 17 divided by 4 is going to be much more than 1. Our job is to figure out how much more than 1 it is. To do that, we say, okay, how many times is 4 going to 17? Thought of another way, if I divide 17 by 4, what's going to be my result? I'm going to write that just a little clearer. If I divide 17 by 4, what's going to be my result? If I divide 17 by 4, I say, okay, 4 can go into 17 four times. 4 times 4 is 16. Subtract, I have 1. This can be my remainder. I'm going to keep remainders for now. So that 4, that big number, is going to go here. That's my large whole number. Everything else is going to be a little extra, my extra fraction. So what's my remainder? My remainder is 1. It's, we're still thinking in fourths, so I'm just going to bring that 4 over make my new denominator. I have 4 and 1 fourth as my final answer. That's how I convert to a mixed number. How about number number 2? Let's skip to that one. Number 2. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. First, I think, how many times does 5 go into 34? Hmm, okay. So 34 divided by 5. I know that goes in 6 times. 6 times 5 is 30. Subtract, and I get 4. That's going to be my remainder. So my big number, 6, goes right there. My remainder of 4 becomes my numerator. That's my top number. My denominator is going to stay exactly the same. It's going to be 6 and 4 fifths. I'll box that off to make sure I know exactly what my answer is. So that's how you convert improper to mixed. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, from I was right. From from improper to mixed. Now let's try to do these on the other way, going from mixed to improper. Here I have six and one half. I want to convert this into an improper fraction. You ask, why would you do that? Well, when you get to higher level stuff like in algebra, they're not going to want to see mixed numbers. Mixed numbers are kind of useless in algebra. What they're going to want to see is improper fractions because those you can work with really easily. So to do that, I just have to go the reverse of what I was doing. Up here, I was doing division. Down here, I therefore have to do multiplication. So 2 times 6 is going to be 12. Then I add my numerator, and that 1, I'll get 13. Now, this denominator always stays the same. It's going to become 2. 13 over 2. If I, if I wanted to check to make sure I was right, I could just undo the whole thing and check it. 2 goes into 13. I'll do 13 divided by 2. It goes in 6 times. 6 times 13 is 12. Subtract that, I get 1. My mixed number should be 6 and 1 half. So these match. My check matches. My final answer is 13 halves, or 13 out of 2. 13 over 2. Number 2. Follow my same method. I'm going to multiply my denominator times my whole number. 8 times 2 will be 16. Then I'm going to add my numerator. That's what I have left over. 16 plus 3 is 19. I keep my denominator 19 over 8. If I check that, I would see it would be 2 and 3 eighths. I'm going to do one more just to make sure we got it. 3 and 5 sevenths. I multiply 7 times 3. And that was 21. Plus 5. 21 plus 5 is 26. I keep my denominator. 26 over 7 is my final answer. Try those tonight. See how we do. On the back, it's just more of the same converting. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. If you need to rewatch this, please go ahead and do that. I will see you later. Thank you. Have a good one.